क्वेश्चन फाइंड करंट आई यूजिंग नॉर्टन्स थेरम हेयर फॉर दिस सर्किट वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस करंट आई बाय यूजिंग नॉर्टन्स थेरम सोल्यूशन नाउ हेयर वी कैन सी दिस सिक्स ओ होम इज द लोड रजिस्टर सो हेयर वी कैन राइट आर एल इज इक्वल टू सिक्स ओ होम Now, first of all, we will find the value of Norton's current. So, to find Norton's current I n, what we will do? We will remove remove R L and short circuit the terminals. short circuit the terminals so let's do this we have to find norton's current so we will remove this rl this is the load resistor and now what we will do we will short circuit these terminals and now this will be our norton's current and it will be current i n now remember that the direction of this current will be downward like this now let's find the value of norton's current so let's use mesh analysis to find norton's current let's say this is mesh number 1 with current I one and this is mesh number two with current I two. Now what we will do? We will apply KVL to mesh number one. Before that, let's assign the signs. So this will be positive. This will be negative. And here this will be positive and this will be negative according to the direction of this current I two. So let's apply KVL to mesh one. now according to kvl if we start from this point let's say so it will be minus 24 then plus 6 into i1 is equal to 0 so if we take this 24 on minus 24 on right side so it will be 6 i1 is equal to plus 24 so therefore I one is equal to twenty four divided by six. So twenty four divided by six is four ampere. And similarly, we will find I two. So let's apply KVL to mesh number two. Now let's say we are starting from this point. Let's say so it will be plus six I two. So six i two, then plus twelve. Six i two, then plus twelve is equal to zero. If we take this plus twelve on right side, it will be six i two is equal to minus twelve. Now i two is equal to minus twelve div divided by six, so it will be minus two ampere. Now we got the value of i one and i two. But here we have to find the value of I n. So I n is equal to. Now here we can see this I one direction and this I n direction is same. So therefore I n is equal to I one. Then here the direction of this I two is opposite of I n. So it will be minus I two. I one minus I two, so what is the value of I one? I one value is four ampere. Then minus the value of I two is minus two. So it will be four minus minus plus two. It will be six ampere. So therefore, the value of Norton's current is six ampere. Then next. we have to find the value of norton's resistance 
this is the second step so to find norton's norton's resistance rn remove rl and turn off all independent sources all independent sources so here is the circuit now what we will do we will remove this load resistor rl and now this will be the rn norton's resistance and what we will do we will turn off all the independent sources so here this is an independent voltage source so when we turn off independent voltage source that time it will be a short circuit then again here also this is a independent voltage source so when we turn off it will be a short circuit now we can easily find the value of norton's resistance so rn is equal to now if we stretch this terminal and this terminal so we, we get 6 ohm parallel with 6 ohm 6 ohm parallel with 6 ohm so it will be 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 if we solve this then we get rn is equal to 3 ohm now we got the value of norton's resistance and norton's current now we can draw norton's equivalent circuit so norton's equivalent circuit is this is norton's current in in parallel with norton's resistance rn and it is in parallel with load resistor rl rl and this is current il norton's current norton's resistance and load resistor and this is il the formula to calculate il is il is equal to we have to multiply this current in multiplied with opposite branch resistance is rn divided by rn plus rl so this is the simple current division rule formula we are using now let's put all the values to get the value of il so norton's current value is 6 ampere so this is 6 ampere here so 6 ampere multiplied with norton's resistance norton's resistance is 3 ohm so here it will be 3 ohm and here also it will be 3 ohm divided by 3 ohm plus rl the value of load resistor is rl is equal to 6 ohm here we can see 6 ohm so let's put rl is equal to 6 ohm now if we solve this so we get il is equal to 6 multiplied with 3 upon 3 plus 6 so it is 2 ampere that means the current through this 6 ohm resistance that is this current i so i is equal to therefore current i is equal to 2 ampere 